Hello everyone, welcome to Quake Champions. This is the early access that's free to everybody until probably like now. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to do a first impressions video and let's start training. Let's see what it looks like. Um, this is the new game by Id and Bethesda and all them. So this is the, the, the Doom dudes. We've already been through Doom. That was cool. This is going to be more of an online thing. I'm hoping that it will... I don't know what that big loud noise was, so don't worry about it. Um, I'm hoping that this will be more of a, a sort of a Quake... No, like, yeah, but Quake can see. It kind of looks like Quake 3 already, which is sweet. But I didn't really get too enamoured with Quake 3, to be quite honest with you. Um, I was a UT99 sort of guy. So, if this ever wants to load... This is running off my SSD, by the way, but it does seem to be having a little bit of trouble connecting to the server every so often. First time I ran it, it said, can't connect to server, and then just ended. So, we, we might be waiting a little bit of a while. So I'll try and fill in the time by talking to you about the fact that I was just shown that Quake Champions existed and was free. So I installed it. I don't know if we're going to get to keep it. Nothing and everything Ooh. makes sense. Already got gamer FPS, uh, uh, FOV. Goodness me. So what, is this the is this the gauntlet? Already, I can't use. Oh, I can use the mouse wheel. Nope. Press L and B to fire and destroy the target. Yeah, that's just the um. Right, it's forcing you to. I see, okay. This looks cool. I appreciate the fact that it's um, got the Quake 3 vibe to it. I was I was okay at Quake 3. You know. Mega health, item. Respawn time 30 seconds. Light armor. This, I assume this is information for me now as a as a tester. Like as a, as a... I'm in training, basically, right now. So I assume that's what this is telling me all this for. I guess I can fall off there, so let's try not to. Honestly, I'm not so much of a fan of this field of view. Um, I might change it back down. I temporarily played with this field of view when I played Quake itself, like the very first Quake in Deathmatch. Oh, okay. Um, but... Oh. Cool. Um, but, I mean, this field of view doesn't really... Oh, lagging out. Don't know what happened there. I really am going to have to get a better um, hard disk. This is running from my SSD right now, but Windows isn't. That's the trouble. I'm guessing I don't want to fall down. Uh, well, hello. I'm just exploring. Um, I know it probably seems a little bit like... Uh, honestly, I'm literally not reading that stuff in the top corner. Ranger's ability is a dire orb which lands throw a ball of energy and teleport to it. Press F to throw the dire orb, press it again to teleport to it. Yeah, so this is um, very UT99, which I'm a huge fan of. The translocator is probably one of my favourite things in um, in UT99. It's a great idea. What does this do? Defeat your opponent? What opponent? Hello? What's this? It's a thing. Grand. I mean, it looks great. I'm. Uh, no. <laughs> it's annoying. Honestly. Um. Controls. Probably video, right? Field of view. Field of view. Yeah, here we go. We don't need 130. Make it down to like 110. Gives us a little bit. Yeah, that's what we want. We can walk if we really want to. Ooh. We can change weapon with the mouse. It has the same... Uh... Hello? Where's this dude? Did he spawn on top of me? It's a bit much, isn't it? Um, it has the same icons Quake 3, actually. This is a Quake 3 map. I wasn't very good at it back then. The trouble is, Quake 3 is one of those games that I would play with my friends, right? What do we have? Just these three. This is a machine gun. This is a rocket launcher. Oh, that's alright. I don't know what they do. Scale bearer. What a cool name. I, I'm glad to be your opponent. 
This is Doom 3. I'm actually really a fan of this. Um, much as I didn't like Doom 3, there was a lot of it to, to enjoy. Whoa, that was a good shot. Um, right, I forgot about the dialogue. Um, there's a lot of it that I did enjoy, and a lot of that was basically in... Um, can I just, like, teleport it? I didn't teleport to it, which is annoying. There you are. There you are. I also appreciate that the default weapon is not that bloody weird ass spinny. I appreciate that it's quite, it's Doom 3 with much better models and stuff like that. It's running so well as well, which is outrageous, to be honest with you. Super good. I want to see if I can telefax this fucker. The bots suck. That's okay. <laughs> this is an early access beta game, right? So, expecting it not to suck is a little bit rude. Did you just explode yourself? What a joker. How am I supposed to beat you? Fair and square. I'm trying to do a double jump. I would... Uh, see, it's not going to be the next UC99. And the reason for that is it is... Such an arcadey deathmatch, which is okay. You know, it's it's the new it's the new Doom. It's the quake of the new Dooms, right? Come on then. What is this gun? Like little missiles, I guess. I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit more fleshed out. I think currently, the fact that there's a um, like a familiar Doom map here, uh, sorry, Quake Three map here, is definitely to its credit. Where you at? Let's not go that way because he's just going to shoot us from above. Nice. Where you at? Hello? Hello? How many frags left? Didn't really listen. I probably could be doing better than this. Um, ah, I see. I don't know. <laughs> kind of hoping that I could telefrag him then. This is a bad weapon. Oh, a shotgun. Where did I get that from? Oh, here. Fair enough. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to see um, a game with multiple fire modes for a weapon. Where you at? But we can't have everything. Q seems to switch weapon. Nope. Something switched. Did I run out of ammo as I press Q? That would make some sense. This just happened to me a lot. Let's just go down here. Ah, there we go. I figured out the little timers that presumably you figured out, just as I did, when you saw me uh, gain time on my ability, which I think is kind of cool. It, um, the, the whole game is supposed to be based around these um, abilities that, you, that your character classes, basically, which is a neat idea because we didn't really have them before. It reminds me of the runes in that UT mod. Do you ever play that? Um, you you could pick up a rune, run around with it, you can have one at a time. And then uh You just it is a thing. <laughs> you each rune does a different thing. The the best one of course is the retribution rune, where when you died, it exploded like the Redeemer, which is another thing that the universe needs more of, is the Redeemer. There's a hole in the wall there and it's really cool. The decals are very 2018. 2016! Nice one. Way to insult a brand new game by saying it already looks two years old. Although Doom 2016 is two years old, right? It's a 2016 game. Where'd you go? I don't really want to use this anymore. I need a select... I need the... I was always good with the railgun type thing, you know? Where did you go? There we go. Can't hear the person. I don't know what he's saying. I really want to try um, telefragging this Joker. I haven't managed it yet. It's making me sad. Did the guns despawn when you pick them up? I haven't been noticing that. Yeah, maybe. I I like the 
weapons on the side. One criticism I had of... Um... Oh, I got one. Cool. One criticism I used to have of Quake 3 was how similar and tubular, uh, not in a totally tubular sort of way, all the weapons looked, you know? They do look different in their models now, I'll give them that. Um, everything in Quake 3, uh, in Doom 3, no, yeah, Quake 3, oh, come on, was just, um, you know, uh, one or two cylinders, as far as I could tell. Did I get you? Nah. Ooh. Wonder what that does. Some new interesting mechanics to learn, for sure. I I I don't like teleporters in level design. Except sometimes. And this is not one of those times. I think this feels a little bit bad. Um It just doesn't really it's not a satisfying teleporter, you know? It doesn't feel like something you could you. properly beat the crap out of somebody with. That doesn't last long, I think that's the thing. You have to chuck it and then use it real quick. I think that's a, a, a fair compromise. I picked that up uh, having walked past it a few times in the same manner. That was a good frag. Use items, right? I mean, it's very much teaching the new generation how deathmatch is supposed to work, which I, I'm not sure I'm down with, but it's okay. Like, hey, have you ever shot somebody who is harder to shoot than just a human, <laughs> just a, a bot? And this is a bot, but you know, have you ever have you ever killed anything that wasn't AI controlled before? No? Well, here's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to use the items scattered around the arena to cause damage to this Joker until he cops it. To make it proper. Why can't I find you? This is a small map. Are you stuck on something? Don't forget, it is a beta, so if the Joker's going to be stuck on something, that's kind of up to him. Ow. Missed. <laughs> oh, killing spree. I like it. So we got Killing Spree, so I'm hoping that will translate from UT99. Obviously UT99 was an epic game, uh, not just an epic game, but it was by Epic Games. This is an id game, so they're, it's like it's like a Nintendo and Sega, you know? It's it's the Pepsi and the Cola, and the Coca-Cola. of Except... I think I'm... If id is the Coca-Cola, which it kind of seems like it should be, because it's all sugary and original recipe and stuff like that and then Pepsi is like the the upcoming the the young whippersnapper upstart joker um I'm a Pepsi dude in this situation epic were really good at these games daily rewards so cool I get I don't see I'm, un, I'm not yet understood these things I've got two backpacks what does that do you know I'm wondering if this is going to be one of those power ranking things that I really am not a fan of Special gift for E3 week. Enjoy a permanent pass to early access and some free goodies. See you in the arena. Oh, 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 oh. Sale. So, I guess that's in-game. It's starting to feel a little bit microtransaction already. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. Tribal update. Right. Chest. So, what is this? A backpack. Maybe it's just some stuff. I don't know. This is one of those, like, I've now got to figure out. I've got to figure out what all these things are. Outfit, appearance. Modify your champion. Thank you. Oh, there's, there's one. Oh, yeah. Commander Keen. Perfect. There's, there's one <laughs> model. I love it. What we get? Well, that seems a little bit buggy. Head attachments, face mask. Oh, I see. Torso attachments, leather gloves? Or no. Yeah, I'll put the gloves on. Let's see what we've got here. Socks. Haven't washed them, haven't lost. 
Yeah, I need them, not these though. Yeah, I don't need that towel. Vanity. 500 Oh, you could get... Okay, so fair enough, it's credit. I, I don't know what unlocks these. I'm guessing it's um, a power ranking thing like in the old... Um, like in all these Call of Duties and stuff like that, which I'm really a fan of. But complete all Elder Gods rune challenges to unlock. I... <laughs> I've yet to figure any of this out either. Why is there an exclamation mark on here? Shaders. Good heavens. There's a lot of um, network communication, which I think I mentioned before, which is making everything really, really slow. Uh, all of which are locked, so thank you for making me waste all that time on locked stuff. But there's, there's appearance in this presentation. What is that? Can we just play the game? Loot boxes. I picked these up before. Here we go. Backpack. Open backpack. Right, this is what we did before. And then the chest is something we can unlock by doing all those. Okay, cool. Get 10 combo kills. By room. Right, so you do that. It gives you that. I assume that is what we spend on the other stuff. So it's called favor, basically. What are these champions? Oh, these are people we can play as, I guess. Kill free champion for five days. Cool. So now we look like this. Sweet. So we can have a set. What other sets have we got? They're all locked. That's alright. I'm just clicking around trying to learn this. Um, we've got one more loot box, which is this backpack. I mean, loot boxes is such a... <laughs> a tried thing. I'm glad this is free, to be fair. You're not a new attachment, did I? Is it that head thing? Doesn't tell me what it is. Common headgear. Cool. Back to selection. Uh, should we just play? Quick play, public match. Tutorial, custom game. Champion pack owners. I'm guessing that is the actual game, right? I want to I wanna play solo. Play team? I don't want to play team. Why can't I play this? Complete all starting challenges to unlock. Well, what are these starting challenges? Give me, give me a clue. Uh, store, no. Law, no. Runes, no. Uh, give me a clue. Got a notification. New challenge. Right, cool. Show me my challenges. Is it in here? I seem to be bleeding slightly, but I don't know what I did to deserve that. IRL. Like achievements. You'll have to forgive me while I figure this shit out. Um, I guess we just keep going through the tutorial. I literally can't tell. So platinum or... I guess that's favour. What's platinum? That's real money. Okay. So how do I... How do I... I cannot figure out these challenges. So... Okay, and then favor is, you can either spend favor or you can spend real money. So it's kind of pay to win, except you can also, can I, let's just check this. Is this on Ultra? Just put Ultra. Okay, I'll deal with that later. Save. Um, <laughs> I can't figure out my challenges. Can I have my challenges, please? We could just play a, a team game and see what happens. Cool, go, whatever. If there's anyone on, that's the other trouble. Um, who else is playing? Is the question. Match round, okay, cool. I mean, I don't have to be on voice, right? Is that voice?
audio. Vote now. I'm gonna turn voice chat. Oh, it's push to talk. That's okay. What is my push to talk button? V. So if I hold down V, people will hear me. If I don't, they won't. So I'm probably just gonna avoid pressing that. Never try. Jen's asking if Burger King hot chocolate is any good. Who fucking knows? <laughs> right, as well. It's either that or a Costa that we have previously uh, learned to be pretty gross. Again with the taking forever. Bigger the guns, the bigger the What's the where's what could possibly go this. wrong? Tab to check your starting challenges. Kill people? I assume this is actually just straight up team deathmatch. I don't like this gun. Give me this. I am on blue team, which is a good team. It's a fine team. We've got a grenade swarm, which is not something I've played with. We've got a boost. Because I remember seeing the challenge, this looks like... Um, this looks very similar to that online game, <laughs> multiplayer game we were looking at that one time. That's a teammate. Uh, I honestly can't remember the name of that game or I'll give you a little bit more information. Where is anybody? I don't have double jump. This is not whatever game it uh, It's not Doom, I guess. The, uh, interestingly, to some extent. Fuck, bro. Uh, the. Oh, okay. Your team. Oh, we have a warm up. I didn't even notice that shit. Something we have to start all this crap again. Three, two, one. I need Fight. to take a moment. You don't need to take a moment, bro. Do you have to just kill people? First blood. Nice, first blood. It's been a long time since I've had anything that has fucking first blood in it. There we go. So I was trying to say before that I have seen that there was a challenge which said get first blood. No, no get one of those... Um, One of those stim, those pack, those uh, multi-pack health upgrade thingies. Nice. This is probably my favourite weapon so far. I saw a dude. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Ah! Too many people. That's fine. At least I get my grenade from back. Don't get my weapon back though. I don't know where I picked it up from. Lame. I'm sort of guessing the layout of this place. Okay. Completed a couple of challenges, which is nice because really I don't want to be playing de team deathmatch. It's not. It's not fun unless you are part of that team, and that would be cool. Um, but it ain't now, so. I don't know what these things are that I'm picking up. These boxes, which I presume are ammo, don't really give me any indication about what's in them. So... I'm just going to sort of <laughs> keep quiet while I look for people. There's not a lot to talk about um, in a game like this. Just I want that gun. Give it me. Is it this quad. one? Yes. Enemy has the quad. That seems bad. Nice. Your team has the quad. Take it. Protect this dude. Oh, it's out. Well, how long it lasts? I'd like to pick it up. I mean. 
There's some interesting new things in this game, I'll give it that. But I'm not sure how much I'm into a lot of this. Uh, first of all, it's been a long time since I played any of this sort of game in the first place, so. Um, I have a little bit to relearn. It's not like I ever played these games online that often in the first place. Plus, but probably the last time I played a game like this actually online, I had like a shit ping. What's my ping like now? 16! Oh my god! When I first got a decent internet, I had a ping of like 75. Yeah. I got first blood, but I've not been really very good after that. I think it's sort of a, the fray really starts going after first blood. Once everyone sort of started respawning near each other. It gets a little bit more difficult to actually achieve anything. Ah, uh, fuck off. A bloody ammo. really quiet, I realise. That's more like it. Get fucking in there. Apologies for the language. More. There's one. Nice. Getting the hang of it. Good. There's a... Rocket launchers, I think, are a little bit OP. <laughs> slightly... Slightly scumbag. Also, I'm finding it very difficult to actually have some some instinctive information on my um, HP and armor status. Ah, uh, man. I love it when you make those dodges that would be really good in Isaac, but you're not playing Isaac. The guns do look better than uh, Quake 3, I'll give you that much. And this could end up being a decent amount of fun. Uh, I don't know how to use half of these weapons, to be honest with you. Nice! Get out of here. I want the good gun. But I do not have the good gun. And I don't even know what it's called, so... There's that. Five minute warning does not fill him with confidence. Uh, I am not winning on my team. Why is that not sorted in score order? I'd like to know where I'm ranking, not what my numbers are. Don't follow someone immediately, I've learned that much. Give me something I can actually deal with. There we go. Third place with seven. That's not very good. Of this whole bloody menagerie, to be quite honest with you. I'm disappointed in everybody. I think the gun that I want is on that bleeding pedestal, so we'll, uh, we'll have to check that out. Nice. More of that. These guns are replacing themselves very quickly. Blue links, stop with... Just, no. Ah! He said. There it is. That one. I like these levels, actually. I'll be quite honest with you. Ooh, mate. Do not appreciate that if it's all the same to you. More? Running out of time. Need to get some dudes. I find there's a lot of... Uh, action and then silence in these sorts of games. Especially in the team deathmatch, it just seems like it needs just uh, more people in this uh, a particular map. I'm, I'm having fun with this, I'll be quite... Uh, I will not say that I am not enjoying myself because this sort of game has not been on my radar for such a long time and uh, there's a certain... 
satisfaction to it. It's a very satisfying game. Um, I can imagine that if it has a, a modding community, that's going to go a long way as well because we'd very much like to see the um, the the some of the old style game types from some some of our more common some of our favourite games. I'm talking about UT99, of course. Um, just to give this game a whole bunch of variety that previously it might never have been able to uh, achieve. So, that could be good. Finally got somebody. Christ. This, uh, super, this double shotgun might be pretty good from close range, actually. The difficulty is that I'm not quite sure how to quickly switch weapons. Come on, then. Where you at? Oh, bite your legs off! Um, you can sort of have a look at the sidebar there. It's not that nice. It's not that um, reliable, I think, because I'm finding it difficult to look at that and also keep track of what's actually happening in the game. One minute warning. I, I've got a little bit of that adrenaline going, which I don't mind admitting, because it's kind of part of the game in my opinion. Oh, that's you. That's alright. So this is the part of the game where you try and get some damage done before the whole thing runs out. I can't believe I have a ping of 16. That's unbelievable, Jeff. Ah, die. Yes. <laughs> I'm okay with being in third place considering I have not played this type of game for such a long time. I'm not quite sure how to use this grenade storm. I don't have a, a real idea of how long it takes. Like how far it goes, what its range is, that sort of thing. Yeah! Nice. Well, I don't know how many um, of my first level achievements that was, but that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. There's no names on these. Is that me in third place? Bring it on. Yes, mate. Blue links. Good job. With all your suicides, still managed to do pretty well. Sort it out, mate. Sort it out. I'm a fan of that. Do you know what? I'm probably going to play this game quite a lot. Maybe we'll stream it. I don't know. Um, this is... This is... This is a decent game. What do we do now? <laughs> Press escape. See if we've got any unlocks. We really want to play uh, single player deathmatch. Team deathmatch is kind of nice because it means you can sort of... Because of those um, the, those ghosts, those silhouettes of people who you can't directly see on your team, you can sort of gather together. You can find them, gather together, uh, and actually have some sort of hope of, at least as a team, winning the round. Whereas... In deathmatch, you always have to be checking your back. You know, at least if you can't see any blue shadows in front of you, you know that everything in front of you is the other team, basically. Hope that makes sense. All right, kill one enemy. There's a lot of challenges. Let's get through them, can we? A little bit more favor. That's not going up very fast at all. That was the reward for our first achievement. So, 22. Don't know what that means. It seems to be a silver. I don't know if these are gold or bronze. I'm assuming they're bronze because those are low numbers. Uh, okay. Give me this. Cool. Loop. Three loot boxes. Two chests. I mean, loot boxes are a little bit lame. Uh, like, I don't know what a combo killer is. I guess it's like kill more than one at once, right? Um. Because I feel like it's just a like a Candy Crush saga or something. I don't really. <laughs> I don't need this in a deathmatch game. Cool. Do I just claim them both? Do I win them both? Or yeah, go back. Sure. Let's equip that. Why not? 
Open next. I don't really know what I'm looking at. This is just random shit. I hope I'll get used to it over time. Sure. Let's equip that. And can I go back to... Everything seems to be everywhere. There's no consistency to this. So, this is a free champion. I'm assuming these are free four or five days, so I can switch between them as much as I want. How do you buy these? Oh, wait. It, it was loading. So that's 250,000, 250,000. Yeah, they're all the same price. So these dudes are free until that time runs out, I suppose, and then you can buy them. 255,000 favor or a lot of um, platinum, which is just money. You know. Not really into that. Uh, I'm down with this game. I can see myself having fun with this game. If I ignore all the loot boxes and progression sort of thing, because I don't think I'm really into that. So these, like, push yourself numbers don't really drag me in. But I do like clicking on the loot box button and opening it and see what comes in. But I'm not the sort of person who chases it. So I think just running around and exploding things, because everyone who plays the game is in the same game, it's the same deathmatch. Everything that we've unlocked so far hasn't given me any sort of advantage. And I don't know if that will be the case in future, um, but I like the idea that there's no advantage to be gained, it's just how much you've played the game or how much you want to put into it. And I'm down with that, because like, if we can look at um, the like I want to stop making so much noise, will you? I hope the <laughs> I hope the balance is okay, because I'm realising that this bit is particularly loud. Um, I just want to know how much um, I can't find the because I was installing I uh, found the rooms. Which room, which rooms did I install? Goroth rooms? I'm sure they were here. So like, do I not? I thought I had rooms installed. No? I'm so confused. Because I had, there were two rooms and they were installed and then, is this a bug? <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to know what would happen if we completed that rune thingy, but maybe it's like this. But what is this? You get... Just rewards. Yeah, it looks to me like you just earn XP and stuff. So that's cool. You have to buy these. Like, I don't know what... Oh, here we go. Is this the welcome screen? Confused. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick playthrough of a couple of goes of the new Quake. I hope you have enjoyed my meagre commentary on this, and I hope that I don't know if I'll do another episode on this, but I hope that you enjoyed my first impression of it. And hopefully, if you're quick enough, you can get a copy yourself and have a go. And maybe we'll see each other in the game. But till the next episode, thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in whatever series comes next. Ta-ra!